Hi everyone and welcome to this Fusion 360 FFF video on how to create your own custom machine and post processor for that machine. If you're not already familiar with the Fusion FFF workflow then I suggest checking out our other Fusion FFF YouTube videos before moving on to this one. This video is for those who have a printer at home which is not yet supported by Fusion 360 and wish to use Fusion 360 to print directly to this machine. In this video I will show you how to create your own machine and how to create your own custom post processor for this machine. Within the manufacturer workspace we can start by entering the additive manufacturer workspace and from there select the machine library. Here you can see the Fusion 360 machine library and your own local and cloud machine libraries which are initially empty until you copy machines into them. From here we can create a new machine by clicking the plus icon and selecting additive. At this point we see the machine configuration window where we can enter our machine specifications and descriptions. As you can see it has the Autodesk generic FFF printer information in there as default. First we will enter some information on our machine in the information window. We can enter a new name, vendor and description as well as import a mesh for platform visualization. The options below it allow it to be automatically scaled and positioned. Next, we will start moving down the machine configuration options, entering our machine information. The dimensions are shipped as defaults for the Autodesk Generic FFF machine, and you can change these as you like. You can change the size of your bed, of course, but also remember to edit your bed offsets. These are usually half the bed size values, but this depends on the machine. Keep in mind that some of the values might seem unrealistic. For example, maximum bed temperature is a good example of this. Such entries are set to high values on purpose so that the default values do not limit the values required by the print settings you have selected. The extruder configuration allows you to set up your extruder settings. Finally, moving on to the post processing tab, we can see that we need to select post for the machine to use. Remember, a post stands for post processor and is needed to convert the toolpaths we see on screen into machine readable code. Post processors are unique to each machine. Clicking OK creates our machine and you can see it in our local machine library. Of course you can now select a post to use with this machine by clicking on the post folder icon. This will take you to the Fusion 360 post library. Select the additive filter and you can browse the list of posts suitable for the FF manufacturer. We will select the Autodesk Genetic FF post. Selecting this post would allow you to print with your new machine. However, I can also show you how to create a custom post for your machine for those who wish to do that. For those who are comfortable in creating and editing Autodesk posts in JavaScript, you can use a generic FFF machine post as a template for your machine. However, creating and editing a post in this way may seem like a daunting task for those of you who are not familiar with posts. However, there is an add-in available that simplifies the post creation process. This add-in is called the FFF Post Creation Utility and you can be downloaded from the Autodesk app store shown here. A link will also be provided in the video description. Now having downloaded and run the installer, select manage, find the FF post processor utility and add it to the toolbar. Clicking on it opens a dialog that will appear to the right of your screen. This dialog will allow you to change settings for the post. Here we can change the name and file extension of the post. And we can also edit basic settings of the post such as start and end g-codes. More advanced settings can be changed in the advanced options section here. Moving on to the sample output tab at the top of the dialog, we can see a preview of the example code that will be generated when using this post. And clicking OK pops up a message telling us that the post has been successfully created and is now stored within our local post folder. Brilliant! We're now ready to assign this post to use with our new custom machine we created earlier. Right, moving back to our machine, we can now select the custom post we've just created, assigning it to our new custom machine. Of course, our custom post is stored in the local post folder, so select local and select the post you've just created. Add it to your machine, and fantastic, that's it, it's all set up. Now, if you wanted to make any modifications to that post, simply open the FFF post creation utility again 
and select the post you wish to edit. Now, if we were to go to our design, say in another tab, we can enter the manufacturer workspace and create a setup as we usually would. On selecting the machine, we can go to our local folder and create. We can see our new custom machine and custom post in there ready to use. Orient to your part for printing and then simply click generate to generate a toolpath. Simulate it and then post process and there you have it. Enjoy printing with your new custom machine and post. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Stay tuned for more videos and if you have any questions you can reach us at the Fusion Manufacturer User Forum at forums.orthodesk.com. Thank you.